And I know Derek here is talking to those people. I want to talk tonight about frustration, about timing, about needs, about everything. So, let me start back with my divorce. During the extended period of the divorce and the marriage counselor and all that kind of shit and the talking stuff out and the having emotions and well it was very spiritually taxing for me. For one reason, one reason only. A lack of certainty. You know, when I'm asked to stay in in relationship uncertainty, I get literally exhausted and frustrated and and you know, slowly a little bit mad eventually because That process is just tears me up to, up to pieces. It tears me to pieces. To just stay in this emotionally charged state all the time is incredibly difficult. Um, you know, I feel a little bit like I'm in that state right now, for sure. I've been And pursuing this this one chick, and I don't even I don't really want to talk about it till anything happens one way or the other, you know. But it's frustrating because you know, I just need to know. You know, you just need, for an ENTP with some slot up by, I don't, I can't live in that space for very long. I can literally get broken, and then it's done. So you can only, you know, a woman can only keep things open for so long with me. If they know they don't want any kind of commitment, then that's fine, but then that needs to, they need to be committed about that. If they know they want well, commitment, great. They need to decide whether they want to commit to me or not, and as quickly as possible. Because I, I don't know how to do that shit. I just don't. I don't know how to manage those slowly building relationships over time. Um, I can't operate in the grounds of uncertainty because my bad FI, I guess, when it comes to relationships, very long. And if I if someone tries to keep me in that spot for too long, then it's over because I, it's torturous. The other thing is what I ultimately need. A relationship is what I'm totally missing in my life right now. The ability to bring shit back home. What I mean by that is I need to know at the end of the day when I'm tired and fussy and want to talk to somebody I can get a hold of this person. And they're going to be there and available for me to talk to when I want to talk to them. Not later, not Have to be as soon as possible. You know it, it, that needs to be their priority. Otherwise, I don't want to mess around with that person. I have a lot of kind of intense, specific needs about what it might need my relationship to do. I need to. I need a person to put me first and be there for me. And I need her to know for sure what she wants. And. You know, that 
can be a challenge for a woman who doesn't necessarily come in as certain as I want them to be. But then it, the thing is, I do a simple intellectual calculus on the matter. The fact that I like this girl is a bonus. The fact that she makes perfect sense and made for me is the reason. So it doesn't matter. You know, I don't need more time to understand that. I've already done the logical calculus. It doesn't take that long. It's frustrating as fucking hell. It's going to have to either be yay or nay pretty quick here. For sure. I trust her intentions. She's not trying to string me along or anything. It's just maybe logistically impossible, you know. It's not her fault, exactly. It's logistically very difficult, but... Uh, you know, I mean, that could be in and of itself a deal killer. If she's working every night when I want to talk to her or something, then that's a problem. Not meeting my needs then in the relationship. But most of all, it'll be impossible for me to feel satisfied until I get absolute certainty. And the longer it takes to get it, the more frustrated I get, the more likely it is I'm just going to say, fuck it. Backpedaling is really dangerous. It's like... If you go from expressing less certainty to more certainty always, that's a good direction to go in. If you start going back in the other direction, you express a certain amount of certainty at one point and go back, ah, actually, that's a bad direction and it causes the same thing for the other person. So, I don't know, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, and I'm venting on camera. I mean, just, I'm, not, I'm just like done. It's just like, there's no more novelty in the world. It's like everything's fucking dull and boring and stupid. I'm at that spot right now. It's because of frustration. It's because of all this frustration. I need relationships to define themselves clearly. Number one rule. And the person who's in a given role in the relationship needs to fulfill the needs of that role. No point in hiring a secretary who can't answer the phone. There's no point in, in uh, having a best friend who doesn't understand what I'm saying, for example. There's no point in anything unless it does what it's supposed to do you wouldn't want to have a good friend who insults you all the time that would be fun similarly you wouldn't want to have a woman who's not available when you need her to be available to talk to you and, and you know certainly you wouldn't want to be kept in a torturous spot like uncertainty for very long because it's uh It's unbearable for me. I can't tolerate it. I, I mean, I, I don't mean I can't tolerate it. Like I'm, I'm not going to tolerate it. I mean, I can't tolerate the discomfort. It's really awful. It tears me up. I need, to, I need to know who I'm bringing home shit to. Who, who am I bringing shit home to? No, right now, nobody. And I need to solve that problem. I need, if, I, if this isn't the solution, I need to find another one. Frustration, bedtime. I gotta go to bed, man. Fucking, I'm fucking annoyed with everything right now. I'm just annoyed with the whole world. <laughs>